Tonight, the effort to treat a boy with a rare disease is coming back to Boston. We introduce you to little Henry when his parents began the race to try to save him. And now we are meeting the doctor who is developing a drug just for Henry that could save his life. WBZ's Louisa Muller introduces us to the change maker whose work paves the way for other rare disease patients. See if I can focus on the bottom of the plate. When Dr. Tim Yu looks under the microscope, he's dealing in the letters of the genetic code. Lego blocks, he likes to call them. Far too small to be seen with the naked eye, but the weight of the work is significant. Patients within Henry's condition, um, there's a chance every year that they may pass from their condition. Um, and that provides extra urgency. I'm going to come get a big kissy when he's set. <gasps> oh. Cells in a plate represent a blonde-haired boy who likes to give wet kisses. Henry Saladino, almost four, and suffering from a rare genetic disease called alternating hemiplegia of childhood, or AHC. You're doing a good job. Yeah. His playfulness, constantly threatened by seizures and paralysis that could permanently damage his brain or take his life. In October, we showed you how scientists at Northwestern University were working on a treatment for Henry called an antisense oligonucleotide, or ASO. The ASO constructed with synthetic pieces of DNA or RNA that bind to the genetic mutation that is producing the protein causing Henry's disease. We have some that uh, look promising. I would say they're not quite where I would like to see them. Uh, this is exciting, really. But yeah. now, yeah, Louis, so Henry's Louis project is making the trip home to Boston Children's Hospital, where Dr. Yu and his team yeah. will also yeah. make ASO really candidates, the good. same place where Henry has been treated since infancy. We're going to be taking those first promising designs and then refining them. The move and isn't trivial. Dr. Yu has field, done this has before. Been We've been fortunate to develop antisense oligonucleotides for four diseases that have um, never previously been treated. Yeah, babies are brown bear. Yeah. Just babies. ask Henry's mom. It is a dream really come true him. for our family, for sure. Um, I have been chasing Tim since day one, since we first heard about an ASO. And if it works for Henry, the impact could be far reaching. Well, I am assuming that one of the reasons you might be taking Henry's project is because you see some hope, right? Some promise. Um, tell me why you feel that way. If we can solve this in Henry for AHC, uh, then the lessons there will have repercussions for all for hundreds of other diseases that are similar to this. Oh my goodness! A beacon of hope for rare disease patients. Why won't a pharmaceutical company do this for you and other rare disease patients? I think the simple answer to that is that it involves too much risk for them and likely not enough profit. The process is still fraught with risks. The ASOs have not yet been tested in mice and rats. This is um, a technically tricky and scientifically tricky case. But Dr. Yu believes the time to tackle this science is now. And does being a dad play into your passion at all? I think we can all see at a human level what these families are up against, but yes, of course. that makes it, it brings it home. A kiss, that's a proper kiss. Yeah. In Boston, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. Louisa has been doing a great job of sharing the journey of little Henry and uh, Dr. Yu, you can just see the determination in his eyes. He clearly admitted that this is a difficult job, but boy, is he up for the task. The brilliance and humility that he yeah. brings to this and as a father, it has to give that family so much more hope and so much comfort. And we'll continue Wish to give best. you updates.